Hello, this is Bradley, the Options Oracle, and I'm here to answer the question, you know, what is options trading and why do I care? Well, you got a good reason to care because money is like air, it's like oxygen, you got to have it. And stocks can only do one of three things. And if you're uh, the regular person in the mutual funds, <coughs> you know that uh, it's not been good. When they say the stock market is volatile, that's just for amateurs. Because with me, it doesn't matter which direction the stock goes. And I'll answer that question later on down the road. But here's money. And this is the best funds that you can buy. And these are the kind of things they're going to tell you. Now down here, here's their one-year return. And that's what they're going to focus on when they try to sell you these mutual funds. But over here, this is their five-year return. Okay, now I don't know if y'all noticed, but inflation, the government admits to 4%, and they're not counting food and energy. So, if you're in a mutual fund, you're probably going backwards. I only see one here, two, that even cover the rate of inflation. There's three. And these are the best. These are absolutely the best. Now, your, your guy who handles your 401k or whatever... He's going to something like this, which is a screener. And the only thing I did on here was put the best. Morning star rating five star. The best. Okay? That's all we're looking at here. What's the best out there? Most of these I can't get anything on, but you, know, you see I'm in A's. <clears throat> I don't have to go very far. Efficient Frontier Income. This is an income fund. Year-to-date return is minus 2.43%. Okay, five-year average is six. Now that you might think that's good, but you, you got what's called a load down here, and load is how much they charge you. If you knew how much they charged you for these funds, you would go correct. You would go absolutely crazy. So, and when you're in a mutual fund, whatever the market does is what you're going to do. And y'all know the market is like a roller coaster. Okay. So, options are promises, and that's what I do, is I make my money by selling promises. And it's, it's, it doesn't have to be all complicated. In fact, with my auto trading, you don't even have to know any of this stuff if you don't want. But if you want to know, I'll give you a basic overview on what options are. So, here's the basic thing. A call option means the buyer has, has the right to call it away from me. And if I got a put option, the buyer has the right to sell it to me or to put it to me, to make me have it. Because I'm, I'm not the buyer, I'm the seller. And there's a reason for that. And so we go over here, and this is a basic chart, and this is kind of confusing. But the strike price in the middle is the promise price. Right up here, 37.83, that's the price the stock is trading now. And in this particular case, this is March of 2012, we got 43 days to expiration. Okay, stock's trading at 37.83. So I could sell <clears throat> the $31, that's what that is, the strike price. Off to the right is the puts, which means, because I don't own the stock yet. So I say, I'll promise you I will buy that stock for $31 if you give me $3 a share. And that promise is good for 43 days. Okay, well, at the end of 43 days, I'm just going to put that money in my pocket. Now, the last one here, it says 342. That was this last one that sold. Actually, if you look to the right where it says time is 308, round that up to 310. So I'll get $3.10. That's a 10% return. In 43 days. Okay? Now, worst case scenario, what if it gets put to me? Okay, well, get it at 31 over on this side is the call. So if you give it to me at 31, I'm going to sell the $41 call, which means I'm promising you I will sell it to you at $41 if you give me $4.55. See, as long as I sell the call for more than I paid, you know, I paid 31, as long as I sell it for anything over 31, I'm guaranteed a profit. 
Now, stocks can only do one of three things. They can go up and down or sideways. Well, with, with my put option, if the stock goes up, nobody's going to make me buy it for 31 and the stock's trading at 41. Not going to happen. If the stock stays the same at 37, they're going not, not going to make me buy it at 31 when the stock's trading for 37. The only way I get it put to me or when I have to do anything is if the stock goes down. And on this stock, it has to go down a lot. It has to go down, what, six bucks? Almost seven dollars. Stocks got to drop that much. That's a lot. Stocks don't drop that much. That's 20 percent. So that's that's the essence of why options do matter for you, because so you can be in control. I'm not at the mercy of the market. It doesn't matter to me what the stock price does. Stock price can go down and it's, go down here to 27. I don't care. I'm just going to sell the 41 at four dollars and fifty-five cents. Now these numbers will change as the chart shifts, but that's the ba that's the basic plan. That's why we don't lose money. This is, you know, you, in the market you can't say anything's safe because anybody can go bankrupt and the stock can go to zero. But that's basically the only way we lose money is that the stock goes down to zero. So this is Bradley, the money medic, and here's why options matter to you. It's because your money is important and your money should be growing. Your money shouldn't be at the mercy of some fund manager. And now think about it this way. You don't know what he, who he is, what he's doing, even if you, if you buy a money manager. They're going to take your money, they're going to collect the fee, and then they're going to sell you a mutual fund by whichever mutual fund pays them the highest commissions. It's a scam. I'm here to save people from that. So I'm, here, I'm happy to teach you on how to take control of your money. And if you don't want to take control of your money, I've got auto trading, which means you just you sign up, you put some money in there, we set some perimeters on it. I don't touch it. Your broker touches it. When I make a trade, you make the same trade I do. And I've got a 96.4% accuracy rate. So I don't lose money. I follow Warren Buffett's rule. Don't lose money. And people laugh, but no, it's a true rule. I buy it at 31. I'm going to sell it at 32 or higher. I don't lose money. So this is Brad Lee, the Option Oracle, signing out.